Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and today I'll be showcasing six ways to remove wall writing in Forza Horizon 4. So before I begin, what is wall writing? Basically, all it really is is a player using the barriers of a racetrack to ride along the wall without having to brake to gain the fastest time possible. Now, within the racing game community, this is most certainly frowned upon whether you are playing the most casual of races all the way through to your most hardcore simulators. Here in Forza Horizon 4, it's no different. While wall riding is okay in single player mode, during multiplayer races, it's a big no-no. As you can see here in this video, made beautifully by Johnson Racing, that even the best racing line from a very skilled driver cannot beat someone that is consistently wall riding. Also, to make sure to subscribe to Johnson Racing as he is one of the most underrated Forza channels right here on YouTube and the German potato deserves it. So, Playground Games, I understand you guys are working to resolve this issue to better the experience of multiplayer. However, if you are stuck, here are all my ways to remove wall riding. Number one, removing all barriers. This one is fairly simple. With the inclusion of Route Creator, you would notice that all custom routes only consist of checkpoints. Unlike the actual races set by Playground Games, where there are barriers with arrows showing the direction we need to go, grandstands with the crowd, this is really more for aesthetic purposes to liven the race. Now imagine races where the grandstands and crowds only existed in parts of the race that don't require braking and all corner barriers were removed, therefore only replaced by a standard checkpoint. How much more skill will you need to execute a corner properly? And if you even try to wall ride, well, you're going way off course and will possibly never get a chance to catch up for the rest of the race. So here is a quick comparison using the same track. However, one will have the barriers and one without the barriers. And you can just see quickly how this will eliminate wall riding for good. Personally, I think this is already one of the best ways that you can eliminate wall riding, but we now move on to number two, tire barriers. Has this ever happened to you in Forza Horizon 4? Well, there are quite a few of these at the very end of these concrete barriers where a small stack of tires will slightly protrude out. And if you accidentally wall ride to the very end of these barriers, you will hit these indestructible stack of tires and come to a near complete stop. My proposal is to add these throughout the entire race in places that are obviously prone to wall riding. Now you may ask, why don't we just bring across the tyre barriers from Forza 7 to Forza Horizon 4? Well, because all these races don't have gravel runoffs, all it will take is one noob to smash the tyre barrier, remove all of them and once again re-expose the entire wall. Unless they have layers of barriers like they do in Forza 7 where the first layer of tires where if you smash them you can explode all of the tires and then you expose the two layers behind where no matter how hard you smash the wall they will stay intact but more importantly you lose all momentum of driving quickly and you come to a complete stop which I'm not sure how hard that would be to implement but it's certainly something they can borrow from the Turn 10 Studios. So having to place these immovable, indestructible tire stacks and have them gapped every, let's say, two feet, two meters, that will for sure reduce wall riding nubs by 100%. Number three, the 10 second penalty. Originally first introduced in the Gran Turismo series, particularly Gran Turismo 4 Prologue, this was designed to prevent gaining an advantage while hitting a wall or using other vehicles as barriers. Because Gran Turismo 4 Prologue did not have a damage model, many drivers would very well wall ride without any consequences, 
but now adding the 10 second rule as a penalty would certainly play a huge factor in eliminating wall riding and also using cars as barriers. Basically how this would work is very simple. Once you make contact with the wall, you get a 10 second penalty where your speed reduces to 50 kilometers per hour. And then once you reach the 10 second mark, then you can go ahead and accelerate back to full speed again. And since most people in Forza Horizon 4 have their damage either set to cosmetic or none in multiplayer, this could very well be an easy yet effective rule to implement in PvP. Number 4. Increase Wall Friction Another easy way to remove wall riding is to increase the wall friction around the track barriers. That means whenever you initiate the wall ride, the car will begin to slow down significantly as you continue to ride along almost like sliding the palm of your hands on a tire. Eventually, your hand will stop or slow down, and I believe In The Crew 2 has resolved their issues with wall riding by doing something similar, and I tell you what, it does make a big difference. The reason why I propose this is mainly more for the circuit races around the city where there are many barriers as for some reason they don't use the existing architecture that they created as the walls already, and many of those walls could potentially be fatal because there are some parts that protrude out so the wall isn't exactly smooth but for some reason they've added many barriers to kind of guide us through the entire track within the city so if they don't want to remove any of the barriers just increase the wall friction as you can see with the crew 2 right here that whenever you grind on the wall you slow down by a significant margin and it'll make you think that it's better off just braking and driving properly Number five, enable damage. Now this one may open up a can of worms for many, so please just hear me out before you roll your eyes at me. Now I know many of you may be thinking just to have simulation damage in PVP and that would be the solution. But not only is that not my proposal, but that will not work either as that will completely take away the fun aspect of the game as most people, if you smash each other, both of the victim and also the perpetrator will both have damage, just making a lot of races frustrated. So what I'm suggesting is every race will have damage on your vehicle. However, the only way that you can damage your vehicle is by voluntarily hitting a wall to gain a better time. For example, if you just directly hit a wall trying to gain a better time, your car will begin to take damage. But if you get hit by another racer, you won't inflict any damage at all, even if you do hit the wall at a very fast speed. However, the person that hit you before they hit the wall will get damage onto their vehicle. It's a little bit complicated to implement, especially when the game is already out. I don't know how much uh, calculations or how the algorithm will potentially work, but this is also another way that can be very effective and fair for other racers as well. And lastly, number six, timed penalties. This one is taken directly from Gran Turismo Sport where I locked my third proposal where you automatically slow down to a certain speed for 10 seconds. This model works by just adding a penalty time towards your overall race. So one or two ways you can go about this is one, continue on racing knowing full well that once you finish the race, there will be the penalty time added on to your total time or you can slow down anywhere during the race and your penalty time can reduce and even fall back down to zero. Personally, I really like this in Gran Turismo Sport and it's mainly used for shortcutting through chicanes but also bumping other vehicles as an extra barrier and the penalties will then be added onto your time. The penalties are not preposterous but it's a stern warning to let you know to not do this again and it's also enough to change the entire dynamic of just one race. So there we have it guys, here are my 6 ways to remove wall riding in Forza Horizon 4. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button, that would really help me out. Also, once again, if you guys have any suggestions on how you would remove wall riding in Forza Horizon 4, make sure to place them down in the comment section below. I know all of you guys are extremely smart and you guys probably have better ideas than myself, so I will be reading down in the comment section below. And lastly, if you guys would like to see more 
all Forza Horizon 4 content, whether or not it's trying to make the game better or to try to entertain you guys as much to my ability, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.